Hello YouTube, this is Eli the Obity Tech. I'm here working on a 1998 Toyota Camry with 2.2 liter engine. Customer complains that the vehicle has bad gas mileage and it has a uh, raw fuel smell during idle. But this vehicle does not have a check engine light. So this is a perfect opportunity to show you guys the strategy I take when I'm facing a vehicle without a, without a, um, a check engine light you know to give me direction so so what I use in this case is a uh, short-term fuel trim and long-term fuel trim and uh, the upstream O2 sensor bank one sensor one so by looking at the short term and long term during idle I'm able to see if the car is either running lean or rich if I have a uh, long-term fuel trims that are positive uh, positive uh, numbers like like let's say positive 10 or more that that, that basically is, is telling me that this car is running uh lean it's a rich command due to a lean condition but if i see that the vehicle has negative numbers that means that the vehicle is running rich it's a lean command due to a rich condition so so the so basically you know the long-term future is going to uh, direct me if this vehicle is running rich or lean the you know the normal operate uh, op operating numbers for short term and long term fuel trims is positive plus or minus 10%. So anything above 10% uh positive 10% or negative 10% and it indicates that that there that there's a problem uh, with the engine it's either adding too much fuel or subtracting fuel. So you know so here we go guys you know you know, so I'm gonna turn the car, uh, the car on, and and have this car uh, idle, and see, you know, what the fuel trims are uh, showing. All right, so the car is on. I guess the vehicle still, it's on, uh, going through an open loop. Once it goes to a closed loop, the short-term fuel trims sh should start uh, fluctuating. Right now, it's stuck at zero. Long term fuel trim is showing us 17.19. The up tree O2 sensor right now is at 0.145 and indicating a, a lean condition right now. But once the short term fuel trim starts kicking in, starts fluctuating, that means that the system has gone to a closed loop. So as you can see, this vehicle does not have a check engine light. So it's still going through uh, the open loop. Long term is at 17.19. The O2 sensor is still reading lean. So that's showing us a problem right now. I'm gonna, you know, accelerate the car to, you know, you know, to speed up the process. There we go. So we finally gone through a closed loop operation because the short term, short term is starting to fluctuate. The short term fuel trim is within range as normal, like I said, at plus or minus 10%. But our long term fuel trim is at 17.19, which is not good. Like I said, it's above 10%, positive 10%, which is indicating. Alright, so the way to handle the long term fuel trims during idle is if your long term fuel trims are high during idle, that indicates that there's a possibility of a uh, vacuum leak so as you can see that it went from 17 to 19 almost 20 percent now the next step to this process just to check whether there's a um, long-term fuel trim either if, if, if this draw if this uh, long-term fuel trim either goes high or it drop or it, it goes or it, uh, or it drops let's say below 10 percent that means that there's a possibility that there's a vacuum leak but uh, let's say that this uh, long term fuel trim drops as soon as I uh, raise the RPM let's say to 1500 then 2000 and 2500 to 3000 but if this uh, long term fuel trim drops and then it shows us like a like a let's say like a uh, like a glimpse that goes let's say that 
that it, if I go up to 2500 RPM this and this um, long term field trim drops to let's say 4 or 5% and then once I go a little bit higher if that 5 or 6% goes goes let's say another 2% it goes from let's say 8% and then drops back to 5 or 6 that right there uh, is telling me we either have a restricted restricted um fuel filter or restricted fuel injectors or a weak uh, fuel pump so which is trying to uh, give the engine more fuel so here we go guys you know so let's watch our um, our long trip fuel trims so right now I'm at um, at right now the vehicle's idling you know what guys you know, you know just to make this easier you know, you know I'm gonna hit back and select the RPM I guess to make this uh, video easier for you guys to see you know the RPM so here we go so so you know so this is RPM right now is idling is at 700 plus our long term is at 19.53 our short term is within range plus or minus 10 our O2 sensor is fluctuating from lean to rich so here we go so you know so I'm gonna hit the first step, you know, I'm gonna go up, 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 up to 1500 RPM and see, you know, what happens to our long trip fuel trims. So as you can see, our fuel, our long trip fuel trim, at uh, around 1500 RPM, it's at 3.91. That's indicating so far right now. It's telling me that there's a vacuum leak somewhere in the system. So now, you know, I'm gonna hit uh, 2000 RPM and let's watch this uh, long trip fuel trim. So still indicating 3.91. Our short term fuel trim is still within range. And I'm gonna hit 2500 RPM and, and see what you know what, you know what happens to our long term. So we're at 2500, still indicating a potential vacuum leak. But let's still watch for a glitch on the long term. Let's see if this 3.91 does go high. Uh, goes uh, uh, if this uh, long term jumps, you know, more than 3.91, and if it goes up and then drops back to to that 3.91, it means there's a, there's more of a potential of a uh, restricted fuel injectors or a restricted fuel filter or weak pump. So 3,000. Still at 3.91. I'm gonna hit 3500 and see what happens to that long term. So you can see the fuel trim, our long term fuel trim, did not um, go lower or higher than 3.91 while I was racing the RPM. So this indicates that there's a vacuum leak somewhere in the system, maybe a bad intake uh, gasket, or maybe a, a broken hose somewhere in the in the intake system. Also, maybe a leaking vacuum uh, brake booster maybe a faulty PCV valve or maybe you know we never know you know you know maybe there's a O2 sensor right now it's showing that it's fluctuating but there's a possibility that this O2 this up, upstream O2 sensor may be lazy and not reporting an accurate reading to the PCM so this is a way that I uh, an approach that I take you know when I'm facing a vehicle without a check engine light I check the short term and long term fuel trims. I see whether the uh, the long term fuel trim is either low or high during idle, and that's how I determine the the condition of the engine. So in this case, since our long term fuel trims are high during idle, and they drop 
while the RPM um, goes above 1500, 2000, 25, or 3000 and maintains that um, a stable percentage, like in this case it was 3.91, even if we went higher than 2500 RPM, 3000, 35, 4000 RPM, that um, the percentage was stable at 3.91 so it never did drop lower than that or never did glitch um it never glitched to, like, let's say like if it went up to seven or eight percent and then dropped again that would indicate maybe a restricted fuel filter restricted injectors or a weak uh, fuel pump so right now i'm guessing this this vehicle does have a vacuum leak somewhere you know but I'm not going to show you guys uh, that diagnosis you know this, uh, this diagnosis is to show you guys uh, my approach when I'm facing a vehicle without a check engine light but if, the, if this customer decides um, decides you know uh, uh, to fix this uh, this problem I'll show you guys uh, the you know the vacuum leak diagnosis Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, subscribe if you like.